Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on finding the area of a triangle. Now there's just a single formula we'll need here for the area of a triangle and it's this. If you have the base of the triangle, and it, that might be the sort of the horror of the triangle but it might not be, and you have the height of the triangle and that height has to be perpendicular to the base, so at right angles to the base, so if one is horizontal the other one would have to be vertical and vice versa, then the area of the triangle is equal to the base times by the perpendicular height divided by 2. And that's the only formula you have to use. So let's apply that to these examples here. We need to identify the base and the height of our triangle and then use the formula. Well, let's just say we make this the base. So this seven centimetres is going to be the base, and then our height has to be perpendicular to it. And that height we can see is indeed perpendicular, because there's a right angle there, to the base here. They're at right angles. So then we can just use this formula. The area of the triangle is equal to the base, which is seven, times by the height, which is four, and then we divide it by two, and then if we simplify that, 7 times 4 is 28, divided by 2 is equal to 14. And because these are both centimetres, it's going to be centimetres squared. Remember that units of area have a squared on them. Now this second one is a bit more difficult because I've got a lot more lengths here to try and confuse you. But it's still the same principle. We need to identify the base and the height of the triangle. Now what we're going to use as the base, we could use that 13 as the base, but the problem is if I use that 13 as the base, I have to work out what this perpendicular height is, because if that's the base, the height will be at right angles to that, so it'll be that length there. But we don't know that length, so that's probably not the best choice of base. What about if we use this length here as the base, so we use the 10 as the base? Well if that's the case, then our height has to be at right angles to that. So that's the base with our pen like that. The height will be at right angles to that, so it will be in this direction. So it will be this direction here. And basically, the height, you go in that direction, perpendicular to the base, until you hit the tip of the triangle over here. And indeed, we actually have that length. We can see that that 5 is the height. Now this is a bit more confusing because the height here of that triangle actually sort of is inside the triangle. But it doesn't have to be. If I look at this and that's my base here, then the height is basically how high up we have to go until we hit the tip of the triangle. And we can see, look, the distance from here to here until we hit the tip of the triangle is five centimetres. So we're going to use our same formula. The area is equal to the base which is 10, times by the perpendicular height, which is 5, divide that by 2, and now 10 times 5 is 50, divide by 2, and that is equal to 25, and again, these in centimetres, so the unit will be centimetres squared.